Hey everybody, how are you today? Hope you're doing well. I pray that you're enjoying the presence of the Lord in your life today, that you're you're a partaker of his blessings and that you're enjoying those and that you are enjoying the provision that he's made for his own people to live in every day of their lives. And by that provision, it doesn't just mean uh, financial, although it does mean that. God has all manner of provision for us to live our lives in. Hey, I wanted to just ask you quickly today something that I taught many years ago uh, by revelation of the Lord, and, and I wanted to just share it with you. I've been wanting to do that. So do you know what it really and truly means to be redeemed? Redeemed. Yeah, the Lord asked me that one day. What does that truly mean to be redeemed? Now think about that. Redeemed. Redeemed. Do you know what the word deemed means? Well, when you look it up in the dictionary, you study it in the Hebrew, it means like somebody deems something or in their opinion, estimates something to have a particular value or to be worthy. You deem it something. So you you understand and you you establish something uh you make a decision about it so i deem my life every day to be an awesome thing uh to be a blessing to be an opportunity for god to use me to speak to me to draw me closer to him to reveal more of himself to me to reveal more of his will to me. See, all of that, I deem that to be something of great value in my life. Well, when God created Adam in the beginning, he created him in his own image and likeness. Now, we always think that that means to look like him, to be like him in his image. But did you ever stop to think that in his image and likeness, could mean that in his image is a root word of imagination. Okay, God created Adam, Adam, in his image and likeness. The likeness of God's imagination. God had an image of Adam. God had an image of Eve when he created them. God had an image of the animal kingdom of plant life, uh, you know, of the universe, right? The stars, the seas, everything. So God had an image and imagination and he put that into place. And then he stood back and he deemed it good. But we don't know everything that God told Adam. We don't know everything that that image included when he looked at in his imagination at who he wanted Adam to be when he created him. And God spoke things and God deemed Adam to be such and such and such. Now listen, Adam was deemed, okay? Mankind was deemed by God to be such and such and such and such, okay? Originally. Now, what happened is Adam and Eve fell, and we know that. And they fell from that deeming, okay? That imagination that God had for them. He had the imagination, and cr he created them in the likeness of that imagination, okay? So they became what he saw and imagined in his mind that they would be. That's a deeming as well, okay? That was a deeming that literally came into existence because our God is great, amen? Our God is awesome. And he's given us that same imagination, but I don't want to stray away from the main point. So when they fell, God said, I have to send my son to do what? 
to redeem you. Get that. Everything that we just said is a deeming. Okay, God deemed Adam to be a certain way. God deemed Eve to be certain things, to have certain things, to enjoy certain things, to have a life that would be such and such and such and such. Amen. And in the likeness of that imagination, Adam fell and he became something else. He became something that he deemed was what he should be. Okay. And God had to send Jesus Christ to redeem us. In other words, to bring us back to that original deeming that he spoke, that he imagined for Adam and Eve. Can you go away and think about that just a little bit today? Because I'm telling you, that, is, that, is pre that was pretty heavy. For me, I had never ever thought of a redemption that way or a redeeming that way. We have to be deemed again. God had to come through Jesus and speak into our lives that deeming once again to bring in the original to us again. We are now partakers of the divine nature. We're no longer the same. Every man who is born again in Christ Jesus, the Bible says, has become a brand new creature, right? Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Well, in that newness and that newness of life that Romans 6 talks about, there is a new deeming for us, a deeming that we've never known before Christ, okay? And so just uh, take that into your day today, something for you to meditate on. Some, just one more thing for you to look up and say, Lord, you're so awesome. I love you so much, Father God. <laughs> Continue to pour out revelation in me, Lord. Continue to fill me with all of the provision that was in your imagination that you deemed to be good. God created it all and he stood back after it was created and he said, it is good. That was another deeming. Amen. He deemed it to be good. So let God work in you today. Let him bring great revelation and birth it on the inside of you. And he'll reveal things like this to you as well. Deeper understanding of what he has already told us in his word, because that's what the Holy Spirit is for. And he is just another part of that great provision that he has for our lives. Let him redeem you today. Receive his redeeming. Amen. And it'll take you to all new places and create of you a brand new creature. I love you. And I pray that you're having an awesome day and we'll see you again later. Bye-bye for now.